Um, One Piece updates, not too much. Uh, I I unfortunately did not. I unfortunately did not have a lot of time to watch a lot of One Piece. Like, I mean, I, I love that, you know, Frankie is such a cool character. Unfortunately, probably the closest uh, character to me in personality, I feel like. Not only because he's like the only American character who happens to be a weapons manufacturer. He too also has a... He's a big soda boy. He's a weapons manufacturer, but he's a big soda boy. He's American. He's like a bit of a, a, a dumb goof, lovable, strong. So, yeah, he loves cola. And so do I. So I see a lot of myself in him. Frankie's great, and I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, originally, I did not like him at all. I love when a, when a TV show, no matter how goofy it is, no matter how, like, child or or like broad it is like it's a fucking shonen it's not supposed to be like excellent writing in general like my expectations aren't very high but as far as shonens goes like you know one piece is pretty good because whenever a literary work changes my perspective on a character that quickly where it can just like take me from despising a character to loving one i mean that's pretty good like i i didn't like him and now i do uh, it's it's a it's a great show. It's a very cozy, very good show. Emotional moment with Usopp. Um, Zoro shows that he's racist again. You know what I mean? Where he's like, "Oh, the black character is coming back on the ship," and he's like, uh, "Absolutely not. There are going to be terms and conditions if you want to allow the half black character to come back onto the fucking boat." classic best character of all time i mean especially best character but also deeply racist like i get it i totally get it i love him but he's racist you know what i mean anyway new ship is fire new ship is absolutely fire one thing that i've always loved is that like they always have vegetation on the ship which of course is good because like pirates used to get scurvy you know they used to get hella scurvy and like the one way to deal with that is by eating you know, like lemons and, and getting vitamin C, right? So it's cool that they have tangerines on the ship. It's cool that they have grass on the ship now. I just, I love that shit. It's, it's cool. It's, it's great, you know? And it's Nami's tangerines that tie back to her backstory. It's awesome. But what about Nico Robin? Nico Robin did something this last episode that I think is, is very, uh, like, ooh, ooh. Like, what the fuck is that? She just, she just, fucking, she basically jerked off Frankie from afar, which was crazy. That was a wild thing that she just, that's a wild thing. I think that's a, a cool concept. That's all I'm going to say about it. And we're going to move on. Uh, have you watched new Vinland Saga apps? No, I haven't. I got to take a break from One Piece to watch like Chainsaw Man and, and also Vinland Saga. There's so much. One Piece is like destroyed my fucking content lineup. 